Hi, this is Annie Lupton of Boho Chic Fiber Co. Today I'm going to show you how to work German short rows. It's a short row shaping technique that <clears throat> I think is a little bit nicer than a wrap and turn method. It creates kind of a cleaner, a cleaner, a more seamless look in the fabric, and it's just a lot of fun. So I use this in some of my patterns for shaping. So I'm going to show you how I do it today. So short rows create, you're creating extra rows in the pattern by not working the entire row, which can create curves <clears throat> into your finished piece. So in a pattern for German, German short rows, it's designated as DS, which means double, st double stitch, because you're pulling up and creating a double stitch. So when you see a capital DS in a pattern, that will mean double stitch, which is a German short row. So what you're going to do is on the knit side of your fabric, here I have the knit side, I'm going to show you on stockinette to show you both ways. You're going to knit to the designated stitch in your pattern, and I'm just going to go all the way, almost all the way to the end here. I'm going to go right to that last stitch. So I'm gonna, you're going to knit to the designated stitch. Then what you're going to do is turn your work. <clears throat> so now the wrong side's facing. You have one stitch left unworked here, or however many are written in your pattern. To create the short row, you're going to slip that stitch that we just worked to the right-hand needle. Then you're going to pull the yarn up and over to the back of the work. Do you see how it created two loops there? So you basically created a second stitch in your work. That is the double stitch. So you're going to pull the yarn back to the front and you're going to purl, continue working. This is the wrong side row and I'm in stockinette, so I'm going to purl to the last stitch. <clears throat> and then when you're on the wrong side rows, it looks a little bit different, but it's really the same idea. So when you get to the indicated stitch in your pattern, you're going to turn your work again. So now we're on the right side. You're going to pull the yarn to the front of your work. You're going to insert the stitch that we just worked into the right hand needle. Slip it over. Same thing, you're going to pull up and over. And when you do that, you'll have an extra stitch pulled over. So you went from the one, pull it over. So now you have two stitches on your needle. That's your double stitch. And then I'm going to work a right side row again. In a pattern when it says work two blank stitches from the double stitch, I'll show you that. So we'll do from two stitches from the double stitch just to show you. So here you can see on this side of the work, this funny looking stitch here, that is our double stitch. You can kind of see it doesn't look like a normal knit stitch. So this is our double stitch. So if it says to work to two stitches from the double stitch, I'll have two extra regular stitches right there. And then we'll turn our work, and again, you're going to insert the right-hand needle from the back to the front into that stitch and slip it onto the right-hand needle, pull that yarn over, give it a little tug sometimes, <clears throat> that'll help you to pull up. So now we have two stitches on that needle, that's the double stitch right there. Bring the yarn to the front and go ahead and purl, and I'm going to again do it to two stitches from the last double stitch. So here you can see that's our double stitch right there. And then here's the two stitches. And then we're going to turn our work. And we're going to slip that last stitch we just worked to the right hand needle. Pull it over. And now we have our double stitch there. So when you're done with your short rows and you want to continue your work, you're going to have to incorporate those double stitches back together as if they were one stitch. So on a knit side, you're just going to knit until you get to one of them. And here's our, our first double stitch, and all you have to do is knit it together as if it was one stitch. So insert the needle into both and knit it together. And then you're going to knit to the next one. And here's the next one. See that double stitch? You're going to insert your needle under both of them and knit it together if it was one stitch. And I'm just going to knit to the end of the row here. <clears throat> now we're going to turn our work and we'll do it on the wrong side row because we still have some on the other side. So we're going to purl. So 
all the way until we get to another one of those double stitches. And here's the first one. You can see that it has like a bump and it's two stitches together. And the same thing, you're just gonna stick the needle in both of them and purl them together. And there's the next double stitch. So we're gonna put the needle in, purl them together. <clears throat> and that's really as simple as it is. So I'm gonna take this off my needles just to show you the shape of it. So now that we did those short rows, you see how in the center more rows were worked, so it's curved. There's, there's more length in this part here because we did the short rows going inward, so we're creating more length there. So that's what short rows will do, and you can see if we pull them flat, it's a really nice, you can almost barely even see where we did our double stitches. It's a really seamless way to do it. Sometimes with the wrapped stitches, you can kind of see it a little bit more in your work, but I find that the German short rows with the double stitches, it's a really seamless, nice way to do it. So that's how you do German short rows. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you have any ideas for other videos, tutorials for things, specific things in my patterns, or just other tutorials you'd be interested in learning, let me know that as well. And you can send me an email or leave a comment below. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.